You know, I wonder if she would have made this video if her and her friends did get approached and ignored all of the approaches. Like, Wait, it, say it, if her and her friends went out and got approached, mm -hmm. but they ignored everybody. But they like, ignored it? Yes. Oh, no, nah, they wouldn't have been, been making no video. <laughs> they like, yeah. yeah, girl, we curved them all again. <laughs> we did it again, girls. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So today we're going to react to a woman is frustrated that men don't approach women anymore. What? Women have. <laughs> you don't. You don't think that's true? No. You get a trope. You get approached all the time. Well, and I don't think I just get approached all the time. I think that women in general they get approached. They get around. approached. Okay. Well, let's let's look at the video and see maybe you can understand her frustration of what she's talking about. Oh my gosh, uh, me and my friends went out and nobody was like trying to get at us. Nobody showed interest, nobody anything. And a guy duetted it or stitched it and he actually said, well, look what you women have done. Like, this is what you wanted, correct? So I want to piggyback off of that. Ladies, y'all, not all of y'all, but you guys wanted this whole, oh, leave us alone. You guys are perverts. You guys are weirdos. Like, we hate men thing. You guys are on this fucking bandwagon to like, you hate men. What is the goal of this what is the point of this because you know what you guys are doing you're ruining it for the women who do want to be approached you're ruining it for the women who are shy and do want that guy to come up to them does that make sense and you're also ruining it for the guys who are great guys have great intentions maybe they're just nervous when they come up to you so they're shy and like anxious and you take that as them being a pervert or a weirdo where does this lead up to like i honestly want to know what the whole point of this is <laughs> you look a little triggered wait Okay, is she mad because she went out and nobody came up to her she, and her friends? Or I Yeah, I think she said that nobody approached her or her friends. And I think she's thinking that is equating women, I guess, in general, acting. And I ain't gonna lie, I've seen it too. Women, someone will act appalled that guys are approaching them. Hmm. And these would be women who probably got their cleavage out, they got everything looking right, you know, got it showing their shape and everything, but then a man approached you with like, like how dare you? Right. <laughs> right. How, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's what she's talking about. But let's, let's, let's continue on. Point of this is because at this point, it's going to come to a nobody wants to come up to you no, nobody's gonna talk to you nobody's gonna try with you and everybody's gonna be thinking damn he's not interested in me so ladies you guys wanted men to back down from it so are you guys gonna step up to the plate are you guys gonna start asking guys out no are you guys gonna start going up to dudes and saying hey you know let me take you out to dinner how about you come over to my place at eight o'clock and i'll have dinner made for you what's your favorite food to eat i'll make it for you <laughs> who said we wanted y'all to back down we still we still like chivalry like, uh, yeah, we still, we still like who said that? We, well, like, we like guys to come up to us, we like these things. I think that it's hard for guys to see that a lot when women act so appalled. When, I do guys, agree with that. when yeah. guys are trying to talk to them, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. Yeah, so, so you agree? Like, so can you see how men will be like, you know, but I'm not just gonna approach you then if you don't, right. if you're that offended that I'm approaching you. Why approach you? Yeah, and then don't be mad if don't nobody approach you. Then don't don't leave wherever you at and, and you upset. And ain't nobody even talked to me, and you're not approachable. You know, I wonder if she would have made this video if her and her friends did get approached and ignored all of the approaches. Like, Wait, it, say it, that. if her and her friends went out and got approached. Mm -hmm. But they ignored everybody. But they ignored like, it. Yes. Oh, no, nah, they wouldn't have been, been making no video. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, girl. We curved them all again. We did it again, girls. <laughs> oh, man. Well, maybe she, maybe she explains it more here. Start going up to dudes and saying, hey, you know, let me take you out to dinner. How about you come over to my place at 8 o'clock and I'll have dinner made for you. What's your favorite food to eat? I'll make it for you. I highly doubt that's going to happen. But my whole point of this is... I'm not understanding the whole I hate men movement because in the end, what does this do for us? Especially like if you have kids and you have sons, you're teaching your sons to hate men because you hate men? <laughs> we don't hate y'all. <laughs> we don't. We love y'all. Now, sometimes we get approached disrespectfully, but in the majority of y'all approach people just fine. Like if anybody, if any woman 
reacts negatively to you approaching them respectfully, that's on her. Mm. That ain't on you. But in, in that, and when that happens, can the dude conclude you don't like men? If I approach you respectfully and you act so, how could you? Is it safe to conclude mm. she don't like men? Ooh. Or is that just I you love? Gonna, you gonna take all men from her? I'm, I'm we'll asking a, all I'm, I'm really asking like a question. Is, is it good to conclude that? If I now, know. if I'm if I'm approaching like, excuse me, Miss, I love your hair. You know. See that's um, nice. Yeah, if I'm that's hey, nice. I, I love what you did with your hair, man. I love your outfit. You killing them today, girl. You killing them. She wants to know like, are you involved? Do you have a boyfriend? You know, I love to take you out, get to know you, blah 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 blah, right? That's nice. And you like, ugh, like how could you, me, you, me, uh, uh, and, and like disregard them completely, right? Can't you conclude? And if she does it all night, like not to just one guy, but just most guys, mm. can't you conclude she probably don't like men? Ooh, I don't want to say that. Oh, you I, know, <laughs> you know, I'm speaking facts though. I don't want to say that. <laughs> uh, but I will say that she rude. She's rude as hell. Right. And she's probably a mean person. In general. In general. Right. Probably not just to men, but to people in general. And that person you ain't want to talk to anyway. So count yourself lucky. <laughs> right. That's true. But maybe, maybe she, you, maybe she's not like that. Maybe this girl is not like that and she wants to change that narrative. Maybe she's saying like, okay, y'all rude chicks need to stop that shit. Because y'all making it bad true. for the chicks who because are not as rude as you. Yeah. Okay. And, and you do. You do because sometimes the nice chicks, the approachable chicks, get approached like we rude anyway. Like, dang, can I get a? Can you just give me the the benefit of the doubt? Cause I'm not. I promise I'm not rude. I'm nice. Oh, so it's happening on y'all end too, where dudes are assuming you're gonna be rude, mm -hmm. so they come at you Any already kind of thinking you're gonna be rude. Any kind of way. So y'all paying for that too? Instead of getting the the nice and respectful, yeah, we we pay for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's continue on here. You hate men? I don't get that. Like, can somebody like explain this to me? Because I really don't get how this is all working on anybody's favor. Because I feel bad for all the good guys that are out there, and then I feel bad for the women who are very shy and want a guy to approach them. But now there's guys not approaching them because of women who have ruined this whole little thing. Man, first of all, shout out to this woman on her compassion for the opposite sex. Right. Salute to you, Queen. Um, I do like to hear, I think it's refreshing to hear a woman say, hey, women need to do better here. Right. Because it's not right for men. I love that. And I wish more women would do that. And on the opposite side, I think more dudes need to be more compassionate to females. You know what I yeah. think? And then we can all meet somewhere in the middle. But <laughs> this compliments, I think they're calling it, uh, I think they call it guys going their own way. I think that's what they call it. No. So basically, this is a movement. This is a movement of guys are tired of dealing with stuff like this. Like we approach yeah. you, you act appalled. We open a door, you act offended. Like we can't do anything in regards to being a man and you're being a woman and we're acting as such because that's considered like you know. That's like, um, you know what I mean? They, they don't like chivalry anymore. Well, I don't want people to think that women don't like chivalry. We like chivalry. It's not, it's not dead. We know that y'all are still out there that are gentlemen. We know y'all are out there. But um, that's not something that we just all want to do. We're not just all saying, mm -hmm. oh, we, we hate men. We on this feminist girl. We don't need him. No, we do. We need y'all. We do. Um, but what we do need to stop doing is acting like we don't need y'all mm. and wondering why we don't have y'all. So where do you think that comes from? At, at, you know, think about your friends and your, you know, maybe your relatives. Where does this attitude of, I don't need you, where do you think that comes from? Is that just like a defense mechanism? It may be. Or is it like, or is it like a confidence booster? Like where, where is the, at the core of that in a woman's psyche, where is that coming from? It may be a defense me mechanism. It may be something like I've gone through this, 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 and this in the past, and I just don't want to let myself be vulnerable like that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, it may be something like my big sister act like that, so I act like that too. 
Mm. So they just have to put you around. So that's just how it, you it may be something like that. And like I said, that's that's not everybody. I I want to believe that most women are. They try to at least be somewhat approachable. Um, I like for me, I tell the younger females in my family, the younger females that I mentor and stuff like that. I always tell them like, if somebody is, if a young man is coming up to you and he is nice and he is respectful and you're just not interested don't give him the uh face mm. that's not nice you can say do they do that do most of them do that naturally um, before you before you say something before you say something to them about it most of these young girls that you mentor are they giving guys the uh face when they try to approach them not all of them a not lot all of them most no, I wouldn't even say most. I would, I would say it's half and half. Like some, some of the young women that I mentor, they really haven't had that whole interaction with the opposite sex a lot. So I get to, I get to, you know, kind of influence you before you even get there. Okay. And you do get to realize, like, hey, I can let this man down easy, or if I like him, I can, mm. I can show my interest. Ladies, when we go out, it is so important. If you want to be approached, you got to look approachable. So the smile helps. The, I'm just saying, like yeah. smile. Wow. And look like you want to be there. Look like you having fun. Like before I met him, baby, I was out. Okay, I was I was out. I was always looking like I was having fun, mm -hmm. and I may not have always been trying to find a guy to approach me. But if I'm just there having fun, just worried about worried about me, then guys will just naturally come up to me because I'm I'm just doing me it's yeah. just it's just natural like that um so for the girls you said it's 50 50 so for the young girls who act like that just off jump haven't really been approached yet but they're starting to get approached and they just stank attitude up mm -hmm. front mm -hmm. do you think that's media driven like or um, is that from just your upbringing i think it I, I think it may have to do maybe upbringing depends on who you've been around mm -hmm. um it also depends on who you hang around like mm -hmm. if they're if you're in school and you hang around all the mean girls, guess who you're going to be? A mean girl. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry. And I guess mean girls think it's cool to do that. Yeah, cool mean girls think it's cool face. to do that. Mean, thir mean girls think that's cool. And some people look up to the mean girls or want to be like the mean girls. It's not cute. All right, well, comment below on why you think, why y'all think women act like this. Some women act like this. Seem so appalled that a guy had the audacity to approach them. Comment below on why you think that happens and um, also comment below on what you think women and men can do to kind of encourage the approach game. Like, what do guys need to stop doing? You know, maybe stop being so rude when you approach her or stop uh, taking one bad example and applying it to all women. You know what I mean? Because this chick is a rude chick. You just assume all women are rude. Right. Um, but yeah, comment below. I wanted her to do most of the talking to get a woman's perspective on it. but. Comment below if y'all can. Let's help. Let's help everybody out. Okay, we want we want our young men approaching our young women. Okay. Um, right. If and you're against young it, young women, we more, want more to power be to you. Yes, we want to be approached. <laughs> Let these young men be a man. Yeah. So please comment below. Let's help out the community on this one. Um, thank y'all for watching. Peace.